Spurred on TV, my name is The Premium Rat and welcome back to another FIFA 16 preview video. As you guys know, on Thursday night we play Anderlecht at home in the Europa League. So we're just going to jump straight in and I'm going to show you the team that I believe will start that game. This one has been very, very difficult for me because obviously all eyes are on Sunday. The game at the Emirates on Sunday is a huge one. And as a result of that, my squad may not reflect the actual squad that starts. But this is what I kind of want Poch and the team to line up as to try and give as many as the key players a rest as possible. So we've gone for Vorm in net. We've gone for Davies at left back. Obviously, Rose got that massive knock against Villa on Monday night, so he might be doubtful anyway. Vertonghen and Alderweire are the two centre-backs. We've gone for Trippier at right back to give Walker a rest. Then the two centre defensive mids, we've gone for uh, Eric Dyer and Mason. Mason has now come off the bench in the last couple of games, came off the bench against Bournemouth, played the last 20, and again against Villa the other night, came off. I think he swapped for Ali. Um, so hopefully Mason will get a run out and give Ali or one of the two, him or Dyer, a rest in uh, midfield. Then we've gone for Josh Onomar at left wing. Obviously, you'd think that Townsend would potentially start on the either left or the right-hand side. But obviously, if you guys don't, didn't know, he had like a, um, a falling out with the coaching staff at the end of the game during his warm down. And so Pochettino has completely axed him from the squad. And so that's why I believe Onoma may, may get a chance. Potentially, who knows, he may start with Dembele or Eriksen on the left-hand side. Um, but I believe Onoma may get a sniff of a start. We've then gone for Eriksen at Cam and Lamella at right wing with NG up front. Trying to leave Kane out as much as possible just to keep fresh legs for Sunday. And on the bench as well, Pochettino confirmed that Son Min could play a part. So we haven't started with him because I'm not sure if he's fit enough to start, but he may come off the bench anyway. So um, that's the team. As always, we're going to be playing on Legendary. Let's see how we get on. Dyer. Give it to NG. Here we go. Ericsson's been slipped through. Has he got the pace? He doesn't. He's got the strength though. Referees! Penalty! He's given the penalty. NG did well to find Ericsson with the run. And he just had enough pace just to get ahead of the de defender there. And he's been brought down. He's kind of kicked his legs anyway, to be fair. Bit of a controversial penalty, but we'll take that. And who are we going to give it to? We're going to give it to... We'll give it to Eric Lamella. Why not? We'll give it to Eric Lamella. He's going to step up. We're going to try and put it into the top left. And we have done. Keeper was rooted. And after 11 minutes gone, we're on the score sheet. And it's 1-0. And G. Eriksen's in a nice little bit of room. What can he do now? Can he take it onto his left foot? He can. It's Christian Eriksen for 2-0. He's put it into the corner. What a finish. What a finish from the Dane. Beautiful. Stroke that so hard with his left foot. Did so well. And G did well to find a bit of room. And Eriksen was in acres of space. Took it onto his left foot. Danced past that centre-back like he was a training cone. And absolutely arrowed that one into the corner. Keeper had absolutely no chance. Clip the side netting on the way through. And we're 2-0 up, boys. Again, joy down this left-hand side. It's been whipped in. Who's there? Oh, my. Oh, it's gone in. I don't believe it. How lucky do you want to get? All their joy has come. Vaughn, mate, it ain't your fault, son. Don't apologise. All their joy has come down that left-hand side where Davies and Vertonghen have struggled a little bit. It's come down there again. Everyone's out of position. And it's been whipped into the back stick. Vertonghen and Alderweire can't, can't deal with it. Trippier is absolutely nowhere to be seen. Comes off the post and it's an own goal for Vorm. 2-1. Alderweire out. It's been whipped in again. Vertonghen's there and he's been beaten comfortably in the air. Wake up Tottenham. Two crossed goals from Anderlecht. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Is that Steven Defoe that got up above his Belgian teammate there? No idea. It was worked well down that side, I suppose. Whipped in. Vertonghen's really got to deal with that. Vorm has got absolutely no chance. And we have thrown this away, boys. Typical Tottenham. 2 all. Big head from Vertonghen now. He's lost pretty much every header so far. It's been shocking. And again, they come down this side. And Alderweireld's got to do well. And he's missed it completely. And Vertonghen's got to stop this cross now. Otherwise, we're banging trouble. And we are in trouble. It's been whipped in. I don't believe it. We've completely bottled this. Completely bottled it. Can't believe it. I could see it coming from a mile off. Ezekiel bags and Alex third. And they have come back. They've come all the way back. I can't believe it. Great comeback from them. Shocking defending every single time it's come down this same side. Poor Tottenham. Dembele. 
Don't know why he's playing so deep. I need you up the field, mate. Mason has done well, actually. He's done very well. Here's Son Min. Who's it to? Giving it to. It's Ben Davis to equalise. I don't believe it. It's a great save from the keeper. Probably should have gone. Probably should have gone across goal. All the viral. Well done, Trippier, and the referee's blown up. And that was absolutely woeful. I think that's probably the first time out of four or five games now that we've actually lost in these FIFA 16 preview videos. So. Very disappointing. I can't really see it going like that in the in the real life game. To be honest with you, we really should win. It's not a game that we have to win, but you know it would be great if we did pick up three points. But all eyes are on Sunday, and that's why I kind of went with the weakest team to start off with. And Alex kind of deserved it to be fair in the end. They came back really, really well. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed the video, please smash that thumbs up button. You know, if we could hit like 100 likes or something like that, I'm sure the boys over at Spurred On would be absolutely delighted with that. If you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe um, to Spurred On TV. And if you want to come and check me out, my name is The Premium Rat. I'm sure my links and stuff will be down in the description. Other than that, um, I love you all. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. All eyes on Sunday. Come on, you Spurs. And uh, yeah, goodbye. Hello, welcome to Spurverts. I'm here with Craig Mitch. Oh yeah. And we have a new Spurverts guest this time. As you can see, the setup is slightly different. We have got Emma Story. She's a freelance journalist, done loads of stuff. Fox, Sky Sports, Sky, all that sort of stuff. 